Hi everybody, it's Feb. I'm doing another one of Blue Boar's mods. This one is Mushroom Ridcully Discworld Character Kit. And you see the outfit I'm wearing. The cloak and the jerkin and the boots. These are all things that you can make. The hat also, um, although unfortunately it didn't show up on my Khajiit for some unfathomable reason. So the wizarding hat actually is brown and does match the rest of the outfit. And it has these very cool trout flies or whatever they're called on it <laughs> you know he's a very uh, keen fisherman so you can make all these things uh, at a tanning rack which the home does include this is the house that comes with it this is Ridcully's estate it's it looks quite large but it's actually not a lot going on in there it's not um, particularly decorated you've got an outside oven and a grindstone plus anvil a few cows and a goat around the back, plus a stable. And some hearth fire soils. And a well. So it's very minimalist, I guess you'd call it. I'll show you the inside of the home. It's basically split into two servants' quarters and you do have a cook actually she's called Hilda so off to the left I guess is the servants quarters there she is and one of the things that comes with this particular mod are new recipes so you can now find yourself making a steak and kidney pie or um, wow wow sauce which is fun and it's actually pretty cool look at that 50 points to Magicka for a minute, restores 50 points of Magicka, and target is 20% weaker to fire damage for 10 seconds, so that's okay. Nice. And you can also make black pudding, which is just grim. And trust me, I live in Lancashire, and black pudding does not look like that. <laughs> but I imagine that there's no graphic for black pudding in any video game that's ever been played by anybody, because it's disgusting stuff. But hey, <laughs> there's a cellar down here, very small. It's got some nice bottles of wine in it uh, and lots of wow wow sauce. And there's some more in there. So as you might expect, so that's pretty much it. Hilda sleeps up there and there's another bed. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just show you. It's quite rudimentary. And then over on the other side, you've got more formal dining for you. Your entrance hall. And then the good part. <laughs> And I say that because I found a wizard staff in here. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, that's what it looks like. Fireballs, 40 uh, points of fire damage, and also stores magical power. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I believe, although I haven't tried it yet, that you can uh, enhance that. You've got a couple of soils in here. And smithing equipment, tanning rack, etc. Enchanter and an alchemy lab this place also. So, you know, all of the your bases are covered for that. There's also Ben Tink's very peculiar old brandy. <laughs> and a wonderful picture of the Discworld. So that is nice. And then in this little library area, you have this. So Scriptorium, you can make all these spells here. Uh, this one causes people to fall sideways. It's not a fun spell. It does hurt them. They get pissed at you and will hit you back. <laughs> As I found out when I tried it on a guard. Um, probably not sensible. Uh, Storm of Vipers. Uh, this one enhances your food, which is handy, so that, um, you know, food is useful again at end game. 
Um, this one you can walk on air. That is handy. This one makes everybody fall down. Uh, blast of fire and turns people to frogs. So that's the same as um, oh, the Granny Weatherwax one. Wall of fire and this one basically is um, telekinesis. So you can make all those things and you can make a few scrolls too of various things. So that is all lovely and very nice. <laughs> There's a bed up here and a couple of follower rooms. So, but I think this mod really isn't about the house, although that is super useful. And this is the detailed rugs mod that I put in the other day. Isn't that fabulous? They look amazing. I don't know what took me so long to get around to doing that. Anyhow, so I'll just quickly show you. You can make a broomstick. Did I say that already? Which is the same as Granny Weatherwax's, so you can fly. So no more getting stuck on the wrong side of the mountains and, you know, having to run around to try to find the path. <laughs> you can walk on air or you can, you know, get on your broomstick. It's awesome. I'll show you the wizard staff. So it's just a normal one, but you know, it's quite attractive looking and it goes very well with the outfit. It doesn't, when you put it away, it just disappears, which is a shame. I would have liked to have had it slung over my back or something. And the broomstick goes into staffs. So if I, oh, drat, if I just drop it, then, oh, I knew I'd drop something else as well. Uh, then again, you can just ride the broomstick as you can for um, the Granny Weatherwax mod. So I think that covers just about everything. Oh, there's also um, an ability to throw rocks. <laughs> you, can, you can craft a throw uh, and you can also craft rocks. So you can chuck those at people just for fun. So I think that's just about everything. Um, the walking on air thing, I will just show you that. It was Grindles, wasn't it? And all you do is just point the camera up and start moving. And there you are. Your little rock comes with you, so it's a bit random. But how useful. I'm not sure what happens if you meet a dragon on the way and to go back down you just point the camera. So that's it. I think that covers just about everything. Um, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to mention about this one. It's a fun mod. I really like it. And you know, who doesn't want to be a wizard riding a broomstick? I don't know. Ooh. Oh, she went glitchy. Oh, right. I don't know. Ah, there we go. I don't know why my camera's messing up, but it is. So I'll call that the end of this video, and I will see you soon for a, another proper house mob shortly.